trees and on the ground, sitting on fence posts and hanging on clotheslines like laundry waiting to dry. They stare at you with creepy looking eyes, their hair like dirty cobwebs, skin all ripped apart, arms and legs scattered everywhere, and decapitated heads impaled on stakes. This is the island of the dolls. It is located on Lake Teshulo in Okimulco near Mexico City. It is said to be one of the most haunted and scariest places in the whole world. In the 1950s, a man named Don Julian Santana Barrera, who was a local farmer, he moved to this island and became the caretaker of the island. He found a little girl who had drowned under mysterious circumstances. He tried to save her life, but unfortunately she died. After that, Julian felt like the little girl was haunting the canal. Julian noticed an unusual item floating in the canal. He picked up the object and it was a doll. He was certain that this doll belonged to the girl that drowned. So what he did was hang up the doll in a tree to show his respect for that girl. Locals wouldn't dare come anywhere near to the canal at night because of the fear of what they might see. Since the death of this young girl, Julian's life started to become a nightmare for him. He now believed that this girl's spirit was haunting him. He started hearing voices in his head telling them to get more dolls and to hang them in trees to please a spirit. He had become so vulnerable and ashamed of himself for not being able to save the little girl. Julian's personality seemed to change. He believed that all these dolls he had placed around the island were possessed by the spirit of the dead girl or other entities. But, strangely, he started gathering even more dolls and hanging them all over the island. It was as if he had become possessed by an entity, forcing him to become obsessed with buying and finding and hanging more and more dolls around the island. He sold all his fruit and vegetables that he had grown on the island so that he could buy more dolls to satisfy the spirit. He searched everywhere for them, even in trash heaps. This went on for around 50 years. He collected around 1,500 of these creepy looking dolls. The oldest doll is still there today, hanging in a shed by the entrance. From afar, it looks like the decaying corpse of a child. Eventually, Julian couldn't afford to buy any more dolls. Julian told his nephew that the girl's spirit wanted him to join her. Shockingly, not long after, Julian died of a heart attack and was found dead, drowned in the exact same spot where the girl had previously died. Julian's cousin, Anastasio, now lives on the island and he states that the spirit of the girl is still here and Julian also haunts the island too. He says at night, the dolls come alive. They move their eyes and heads and whisper to each other. He goes on to say that the dolls must not be removed under any circumstance, otherwise you will be cursed forever. Visitors to the island feel a very creepy atmosphere around this place. They report that the dolls laugh, cry, they scream, they move. Many feel as if something is following them once they leave this place. There is also another story of a woman who has always been heard crying. It's believed that this lady killed her own children to be with the man she loved. This man rejected her. She couldn't take the rejection and actually drowned herself. There are reports of child screams and voices calling out for help. Even reports of voices telling people to leave. The Island of Dolls is a very creepy place to go. If you ever take the opportunity to visit, just be careful as you never know who or what is watching you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If there's a story you'd like us to talk about in a future video, please leave a comment below this video. Deep beneath the streets of Paris and France lies a ghostly goings on inside Lep Castle. Maybe one of these days you may take a look for yourself, but do be careful. Alright guys, that was yeah. together. We my mystery <laughs> island island of the dolls guys what a creepy ass place to go i mean i i love scary places i would love to go to this um if you i'm not i'm not getting many reviews on these i don't know should i make the should i make them slideshows um i don't know guys I don't have a camera. I am using my phone. Um, 
I have a tablet, but it doesn't have a little stand for me to do like any of these paranormal games, any of these stories. Um, that's kind of copying on YouTube. I don't know. That's why you guys probably ain't viewing. Um, I try. Um, I will find a way. Um, I'll try the slideshow thing. If it doesn't work, if it don't get many views, just like one or two, then then I won't do them. And a couple of you did like my Alien franchise part one. Um, a couple of you. Uh, I'm not really gonna do a part two because not too many people liked it. Um, I am thinking about streaming though, just playing the game and having you guys watch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna uh, do anything special for WWE 2K17. I'll just be streaming, get live for games for now on. Um, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. But I will continue playing these paranormal games in the in the future. And this isn't uh um like a limited time only. This is part of my channel. All these scary paranormal haunted urban legends. This isn't just for Halloween. I know Halloween's right around the corner. Um. I will be wearing a costume, um, and I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to be. It's going to be a special. It's special. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to be because I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to dress up on um, some of my videos, but you'll see. It's going to be a cool costume. I hope, I hope you please, um, I mean, I hope you like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Peace.